Okay, I'm not going to stay on this page too long. Uh, basically, I've had a lot of requests for the diagrams and how I wired that induction motor. Uh, and so, this will hopefully cover the questions asked. This first diagram here is <clears throat> basically of that Emerson motor. Um, this right here is the mechanical uh, centrifugal switch. It gets activated right here by the motor that uh, starts the motor in the initial wiring. But anyway, on this motor, this was the wiring. Um, this here was the start capacitor. And depending on how you had it wired, you either got uh, clockwise or counterclockwise rotation uh, for the motor. I'm not going to cover that too long. You guys can freeze frame it. Okay, getting back to the start capacitor again. Um, I drew this up uh, so that you can see if the capacitor is on one side, you will get a counterclockwise rotation versus if it's on the other side you will get a clockwise rotation pretty simple um, this and this has nothing to do with the way I wired it I just did put that in there for uh, general information this here was the field coils uh, the little one the red one was the start coils uh, so if you look in your motor, you'll see some small windings. Those those will be your start windings. You don't want to mess with them. Um, you want to mess with the wires coming off the main field. In this case, there's four of them, but they will be wired together. Okay, here is the basic wiring diagram. Uh, on this diagram right here, the series wired is not shown. This is only for parallel. This is the 120 volt uh, light switch that's in the circuit. And this is just going to represent uh, all of the capacitors, if you will, in parallel. Uh, this and this are double pole, double throw switches. Uh, and this is wired. Uh, in parallel that is the way it was the motor was wired from the factory for 120 volt if you wanted to run the two 220 240 volt that would have to be in series okay and the amp tests that you see the little wires there's two little wires out there in the middle um, that I clipped on and, and it was what four and three quarter amps on each one of them well that those were taken off of these probes right here Okay, now this diagram is just like the one you saw a minute ago, except it's wired for both parallel and series. Okay, um, when the switch is up, it's actually connected to the parallel circuit. And when the switch, those double pull, double throw switches, when they're down, it actually connects between these two, which is in series. Uh, you can file it. You can follow the diagram and should be able to figure it out. Uh, the board power that's referenced here was was on uh, uh, taken off of this little board here. It was a little circuit board. There's actually no electronics on it. It's all mechanical. Uh, and it's normally closed and as soon as the motor starts to spin it throws that brakes connection and kills the power to the start winding because it is no longer needed anyway I hope uh, I hope these can answer some of the questions I've been getting uh, I haven't had time to answer a lot of them sometimes I get shipped out on remote jobs and I don't have access to the internet so anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, We'll talk to you later. Bye.